a downward spiral. Okay, that, that's a bit. <laughs> anyway, here's here's the deal: is as the body is um, picking up energy, picking up the minerals, it's going to start out very strong with a lot of integrity. You're going to be able to pick up more out of what it uh, is consuming. Interesting study from uh, the University of Missouri when William Albrecht was uh, chief of soils there. There was uh, supplements given, calcium supplements given uh, with uh, rabbit and cow rations to low nutrient dense uh, alfalfa and hay. So in, in like looking at it, the calcium is about the same as what it should be, right? You know, he's putting the supplement in there with the feed. And he wasn't using like chalk, he was using a decent cal calcium. And then in the other one, he just fed them high quality uh, hay and alfalfa. And then he used urine samples and, and saw what was going on in the body. And he actually found that the animals that ate the low quality feed with the extra supplement lost more calcium than they consumed. While those that uh, ate the high quality actually had uh, a, a gain. Okay? And what, what happens is as the body is um, digesting foods, it actually uses what is breaking down to come back around and break down more food later or to get more energy out later. Um, to break down fat, you need fatty acids and, and uh, li uh, lipase. Well, when you're looking at that or how that's broken apart, it's actually fat that's broken down that goes in turn and breaks down fat later. So if you don't have good fat coming in that's going to complete this process down the road, you won't digest, you're going to miss it further on down. Uh, digestive enzymes in the body are a whole uh, talk that we'll, we'll have to really get into because that's going to be something quite important. But the thing is, is that the body reuses the bile and the digestive enzymes several times in a cycle. But it's hoping that it can be replenished through food that's coming in so that it can keep the energy up. Because, you know, like, is, is um, hydrochloric acid in the stomach as good the fifth time around as it was the first time around? Probably not, you know? It's going to get worn out and it's going to need to be excreted. But if the body doesn't have the input that it needs to break this down and complete this cycle, then what's going to happen is, Let's imagine, going through this cycle, we start out and we're picking up about 95% of the food that we eat. Okay? And we go through, and that 95% I'm using as not an ideal. Alright? So we're just losing a little bit of energy. Are you with me? Well, the next time around, you guys ever had a bank account that got interest? Well, the next time around, uh, you know, you put your money in the bank and the first year you got 5% interest or whatever it was. And the next time around, you got that 5% again, and then the 5% of the 5% that you got before. Okay? Look at this over the course of somebody's lifetime, where they're dropping off energy, and the first time around, they, they, they missed a few percent. And then later on, as it comes around, they're going to miss that few percent again, because they didn't have the ideal energy to complete the cycle. And they're going to miss that much more. And it's going to be slow at first. And they're going to miss more and more and more and more and more. Until, and it's going to start out real slow. And then it's going to begin to speed up. And pretty soon it's just going to go spiral out of control. And that's where people are dropping off, you know. And what we're trying to do in that idea of, you know, building somebody, somebody's health back up, they're only going to be able to pick up a little bit of a time uh, at a time. But it's worth it if you have to saturate the body with... Whatever it might be, maybe it's uh, 50,000 units of vitamin D, or um, maybe it's uh, 500,000 units of vitamin A. If that person's only picking up 10%, then you needed to give them that much to give them something that would actually begin to make a difference. And we're working against nature. I mean, you know, if somebody's way up here and they decide to change their lifestyle and that, it would be a very short, you know, um, program. I mean, just a few changes in a, in a short amount of time, they're going to get healthy. But it's exponentially difficult as they get further on down here. 
because they're absorbing less energy from what they eat. And the health program will start out slow and get faster the further in it goes because it will be working back up. Does that make sense? Part of what we can do in this process in digestion is, is the addition of, of inputs like the digestive enzymes or something to help the body manufacture or, or just to get more without the ability to actually manufacture more. But it's not necessarily going to be a, a, you know, a, a catch-all. It's not going to work all the time. All right, uh, like attracts like, and what's going to happen is, you know, as calcium goes into the body or other minerals go in the body and reserves begin to get built up, they're going to build up faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And that's the point that I'm getting at. Is in like attracting like, it was going to start out slow because there's very little actual energy. Um, another thing that you could think of as an example, uh, here on Earth, uh, you ever gone to like uh, some uh, museum where they talk about outer space and different planets? Here on Earth we have a certain amount of mass. You know, I weigh almost 200 pounds uh, here. But if I were to go to some place like Jupiter, it has a much greater mass. My weight might be eight times that. And I would be squashed like a pancake. Or at least, you know, that's what they say at these demonstrations. Well, the mass of the Earth is such at which its energy to keep things down is less. But the, once the mass got greater, like in the case of Jupiter, its power or its energy to hold things in, pull things in, is greater. Do you get that example? As the mass increases in the body, its energy to pull in more will increase. Does that make sense? Yes. <clears throat> when I was sick uh, three months ago, I weighed 156 pounds of normal weight. And over a period of uh, two or three months, I went down to 130 pounds, and now I'm feeling better, and I'm up to 140 now. So that's basically what you're talking about. Yeah, your, your mass is increasing. Yeah. In some way, that, that's, that does tie in very well. Um, we, want to, we want to increase mass, the mineral mass. I should have thought you She's, she's okay. Um, we want to increase this mass, and the idea of, of these minerals, whether it be calcium or magnesium, the more of it that's there, the more they will in turn attract, in turn attract back to itself, and thereby the, the process of gaining more uh, mass energy, however you want to say it, is going to increase. And that's going to increase uh, what you're ultimately looking for. Like when your reserve energy is ideal, like somebody could have numbers that look really good, but they could really have a very low reserve energy because they are more deficient in, in um, mass or actual mineral energy than they uh, appear by the numbers. And what you'll see is, is how that practically would, would play out is when somebody eats something or does something that would be against the norm, like... Uh, Take two people that sit down and one eats, um, I don't want to say a steak because it doesn't work real well, but let's say two people eat a steak. And one person, they both started out with perfect numbers, and one person's numbers went way haywire, like the ureas went way up, and the other person's number didn't change at all. Whose energy or whose reserve energy is better? The one that didn't change at all. Because that's really a consistent picture of what's going on in this guy's body. The first guy, it just looked good on paper. And that's one thing we also have to consider in all of this is that uh, sometimes when you do the tests, they don't always uh, give you a clue. It's going to be a couple of tests over the course of time that you're going to really see an accurate picture into somebody's life. But we want to build this energy up so that they have this resilience. You know, as, as your energy goes up, you're going to be able to do certain things. I remember, um, I remember reading a book uh, nine or ten years ago. Um, I really didn't think too much about all the raw food. Uh, you know, I've kind of, uh, you know, come around, I guess, in a lot of that. But um, I read a book, I think it's called Raw Power, and it was about a bodybuilder that was eating uh, raw food. And, and all the people that I had seen that ate a lot of raw food, uh, when they turned sideways, it disappeared, you know? 
And here was a guy that was, you know, very stout. But he explained in there how his immunity and everything, uh, his resistance to disease, got greater and greater and greater. And uh, he would show off um, by skiing butt naked. <laughs> you know, that was his thing to show people that the elements had no um, effect on him. Well, you know, whatever. But, but it, he would do that and he wouldn't get sick. And so that is a, a good testimony to the strength that he built up, you know, that was built up inside of his body. Okay, uh, I need to get going on this. Are there any questions about that concept? 20% was what we talked about with plants pick up. Uh, you're going to find so many parallels between the animal and plant kingdom as you go through this. It will just begin to, I mean, you'll see that the, the levels and the parallels in which we work are, are virtually identical. I mean, salt readings, everything are going to play out nearly the same, okay? They're made by the same creator. That's right. And a human being, when we're looking at uh, an A range, something that we would consider you guys remember uh, that first sheet I gave you on, um, no, it was uh, yesterday morning. The colorful one? Yes, the colorful one. There you go. Um, the A range is going to be as close to 100% as we can imagine, okay? I really don't think ever, anyone is, is getting 100% of the energy, but it's going to be uh, very, very high. But one thing we have to bring in that I, it might be a little bit confusing to some of you is that that, that 100% is really only 20%. Does that make sense? Out of the food that we eat, the most amount of energy that you're going to pick up is 20% of that energy as it's coming in. Okay, does that make sense? So this 20% represents maximum, or represents 100% from food. From the food we eat. And the same principle that works, if we're not picking up the ideal, like let's say somebody, oh, I'm gonna need that sheet, I'm just gonna sure. go through that. Let's say somebody is in C range, lower end of C range, and they're picking up 50% of the energy coming in. What percent of the food are they actually picking up? 10%. 10%. Okay, so 10% of all the food they're bringing in is actually going anywhere. That's kind of a dire situation. But now keep going. Uh, what if it was 20%, like at the end of the D range? 4%? 4%? And then you keep going. You guys see how that's really quite disgusting? Okay. But as, as we get more of this, just like in the soil, if we're picking up 100% uh, of what we're going to be picking up, this, this number, then we're going to be picking up more energy from the air in that as well. Okay? Um, think about copper. Copper is used to transfer electrons, right? We use it in power. We plug it in, we get current. You with me? All of that, we talked about all these minerals that go in the body. What is the majority of, what is their primary um, structure, chemical property? They are all, almost all. Conductors is a good one. Metals. Okay. Think about this now. Energy has the potential to flow. And not only that, we know that energy flows through our bodies because...